Thank you, Tom, and uh, thank you all for giving me the opportunity to be with you here today to celebrate this new degree, and uh, you will hear all of us saying uh, wonderful things about um, the degree itself and why we are so excited to have this program in place at this time, at this point in time. I wanted uh, also to give a very special thanks to uh, Neil. Um, Dean Van Alphen has been a strong force behind this idea for a long time. I think from what I hear, there was a, an effort in place well before I came and materialized, of course, um, uh, this year. And uh, Neil has been a very strong proponent for a program like that, and you will hear him speaking about it. But also I would like to thank Tom. Uh, for his leadership and uh, for everything that he has done to bring this uh, program together and to bring faculty together who will support the, the curricular and, of course, the students and um, creating the environment for this great student interest. The, the one unique um, and interesting thing about this program, it, it is that it is created at this point in time is a new program. It is at a time when we have limited resources, but the fact that the program was created with so much enthusiasm is uh, speaks uh, wonders about the interest of the college of uh, the faculty and of the students, and of course the great interest of the university and the region and the, the leadership we have from the state in fact shows exactly the importance of the program and, and what that uh, may have really as an impact on us as an institution and on our students. So um, UC Davis is in fact a leader in sustainability. You don't expect me to tell you that, but I have to um, just um, say that in the last two years as the Chancellor here and as I'm looking at what the strengths of this university have been and will remain, I can tell you sustainability and food, of course, are one of the two major pillars we have on our campus and uh, the ones that will create the foundation for whatever new exciting opportunities both in education and research we will or you will create moving forward. And of course in sustainability we are a leader not just in the state of California, uh, we are a leader in the US and we believe a leader around the world and there are many indicators that speak to that but I would say that we have been at the forefront in many ways, not just in education. In fact, when it comes to sustainability, um, we all believe that sustainability is a principle, it's practice, but also beyond that is a vision and it's a process and it's a way of life and it's how we move forward and how we put into practice the philosophies we have developed. And sustainability for um, UC Davis has been all of the above. So it's from the beginning of times when this institution created the foundation um, to, ex to excel in these areas. And in that regard, and because we believe in sustainability, everything that we do is to create, of course, a sustainable environment whether it is in energy, whether it is in the environment, in the climate, or, or in many other aspects of uh, our life. So a few uh, small things that I would like to, point, to bring to your attention, I'm sure you've heard about those, but just do speak to how we value and what kind of a principle sustainability has been for the institution. So we are the first major institution of that kind of size that we have as a public research university in California to make a commitment to reduce lighting energy by at least 60% by 2020. And we believe we, are, we have the ability to get there before 2020, as a matter of fact. And also, in the process, we will demonstrate that you can be sustainable and reduce cost. And in this particular area, in fact, we are going to at least save three and a half million dollars a year, which is a major thing just from this small component. We have also, and Neil takes and his um, colleagues, his faculty, students and alumni, tremendous credit for that. We have a new environmentally sophisticated brewery, winery and food facility, the first in the country. And it's not just in energy, of course, that are sustainable, but also in water from and the new facility that we have, which is also unique and many are coming here to learn from that, not just to um, do a similar thing in their own research environments, but also to implement those technologies into their own wineries. 
And um, also another area where it shows the commitment and our imagination moving forward is in West Village. Um, if you think that the concept for West Village started about 10 years ago, it was a very forward-looking uh, vision. It was at the forefront of where this country was. And the fact that this institution was able to overcome many barriers, both bureaucratic and technical and financial, to really create something that is very unique for the country. The fact that we have a new community that can house up to 5,000 people and be a net zero energy community and be done in a way that brought the public and the private sector together into a very unique partnership speaks a lot about the commitment of this institution but the importance of, of that uh, development. And I have to say it's a wonderful um, new project for our campus. For those of you who have not visited West Village, I just tell you, you should. It's a must. <laughs> And uh, it's a wonderful environment for our students to practice sustainability, not just learn about it from their classes and their programs. And the last thing I wanted also to say that um, we have done so many wonderful things, but this past weekend we had one singular opportunity to also remind ourselves how, um, what kind of a leader we have been in the area of sustainability, and that was when we celebrated the 20th anniversary for ITS, where we spoke about the contributions of so many generations of students. I mean, they had a video at the end, and then with all of these people who have gone through it, the video was almost like 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't know how long. I mean, there were so many people who have been educated and have worked under this umbrella with that um, goal in mind as they were trying to find sustainable solutions for our environment in that particular case, specifically to um, transportation. So we have many things to be proud of and many um, events to show um, and um, to speak about, especially when we try to talk about UC Davis and its contributions to sustainability. But in addition to just how well this fits with our past, I would say that this new program is going to play a key role in our future as well. And you may have heard me recently speaking about our 2020 initiative. This is a, a new initiative for the institution. It builds on the tremendous strengths that we have. It builds on the fact that we have a um, big infrastructure and that we have availability for more students on our campus. It builds on the fact that we want to provide access to the kids in the state of California to an excellent education. And that we do want to create an environment where our students can be educated to become the leaders in a global world. That we want to become more diverse, more international, more known as being the leaders in this area. And um, one of the key aspects of this initiative is our ability to create unique majors where our new students will come and learn from and then take with them as they graduate and move on to really make themselves the leaders we want them to be in a global setting. And this is one of those majors. It came a little too <laughs> it came early. So it's an early uh, indication of success, I would say. Um, but it's, it's really uh, helping us create the environment that is going to make that initiative exciting for our campus because in addition of course to the majors and the undergraduate programs as you know majors do provide the foundation for many more things and and that will be research could be um, graduate education for our students it could be extension and of course it could be service to the community to agriculture it could be translating all of the ideas and the knowledge we create into products and services for the well-being of our communities, of our state, and of our nation, and in the service of the rest of the world, I would say. And so I'm very excited to be here today. Um, I really want to tell you that you have done a wonderful job, Neil, and uh, your colleagues in trying to create this wonderful program, and I am really looking forward to learning more about it. Thank you.